anywhere here maybe here yes it is Larry's place yes So, are you going to greet me or just stare at that fish tank all day long? Sorry, I got lost for a second. I'm really glad to see you, Angie. I'll start to think you might not make it. Well, I'm here now. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. Things are fine. Nothing you need to worry about. If you say so. Look, why don't we order in some breakfast? You can take converse and tell me all about why I still don't have that damn book yet. You like pancakes? Yeah. Alright, Pancake Appalooza. You're gonna love this. Best in town. Damn, those pancakes do smell good. I told you so. I'm starting to think Tordas might have been a bit too much though. So, do you do this often? Do what? Order a breakfast instead of just cooking. Seems like my kid a bit expensive. Well, between the overthrown savings account and a couple max of credit cards, Paul and I are already nearing six figures in the ground. The way I said that we're headed towards bankruptcy in a few months anyway. A few more pancakes on the ledger aren't going to be our undoing. That doesn't sound like a that does not sound like a sound financial strategy. Oh I know. Trust me, I know. There's nothing I can do about it, though. Since her mom died, Belinda spent nearly every day and every penny at the mall. All. At first, I didn't have the heart to tell her we can't afford the shopping sprees, but by the time I got the balls to say something, we are broke. You should have seen her face when I suggested she get a job to start paying off some of the bills. She doesn't even want to get a fucking job? to pay things and then she's all sad that we she cannot like go to the mall and shop for fuck's sake you're getting broke i told you that is not the right woman for you larry i told you at the very beginning it is the wrong woman we you have chosen and i was right i was more than right have you considered divorcing <laughs> So I can lose half to her in the cards and another half of that in lawyer fees? No, thanks. Plus, I couldn't do that to her. For better or for worse, right? Shay, I'm sorry. Don't be, it's my fault, really. When I got that job last year, I thought everything was gonna be easier. Did you know two of the other guys in my department made over a million bucks each just in royalties? It's pretty easy to fool yourself when you're around successful people on a day-to-day -day basis. I got in my head I had already made it and sold her on the idea we weren't just middle class nobodies anymore. It takes a little longer to climb that ladder though. It's gonna be fine though, right? I've got a few new prospects and you're here. That's something I guess. Yeah, you mentioned a job for me here. Well, it's not exactly what you're used to. Okay. Oh, Belinda's back. Shit, Larry. Are you trying to get fired? Here I am. Crawling to my parents on my hands and knees for a little extra cash to keep us afloat and you're lounging around eating pancakes. Is that who you think it is? 
You've got a lot of nerve coming around here after the shit you pulled, Angie. Well, can you just not go all the bitch mode on me all of a sudden? Can you chill? Hey, calm down, would you? She's here to make good on things, right? Uh, yeah. We're trying to steer the ship back on course, can I moving in the right direction again? Well, that's fine and dandy, but weren't you supposed to be having a meeting this morning? Shit, I forgot! I can see that. So what the hell is she doing here anyway? We are... Uh... We're just discussing some work. Are you kidding me? How many chances are you going to keep this fuck? Oh, you're the fuck up! You know what? Belinda, you're the real fuck up! Oh my god, how can you... How can you even talk like this? I know why you might be angry. And I know you might think that it is the wrong decision to give me another chance. But there's no reason for you to be so rude. For fucking hell. Bitch, go away. Fucking go back to your mo parent shit. I don't know. Oh, you give up, you give up, you know what? Larry should give up on you a long time ago because you're being just a bitch. If you would just hide your whole ego to a fucking uh, closet and go out there and get a work yourself, maybe all the issues weren't be as big and you wouldn't have to crawl on your knees to your parents. Just fucking get, get a damn job instead of going all over the mall every day. Oh my... Well, Belinda's not very happy about that either! Take her with you, I don't care. You two can discuss handbags or whatever. I paid the rent, so it's Michael. Besides, you two would probably get along wonderfully. You will make my life a living nightmare. Well, thank you, Larry. Thank you, everyone, for just leaving me up there bitching about me. People make mistakes. I'm trying my hardest to fix them. Everyone's just going at me. I, I came here to help you, Larry. Again, just, just why? Fucking hell. I would not do shit. I don't want to go with you, bitch. Oh, you're sorry. You are now sorry. But you first called me a fuck up and whatever. You are now sorry for me to see all that as if it was Larry's fault. You may apologize for being a bitch and being rude as hell first. Gee. Oh no, no, he just called me a fuck up. Uh, and yeah, and said all the other. And said that I should not come here after pulling what I pulled. Yeah, you have nothing against me at all. You are in the middle of fucking nowhere, bitch. You just decided to be rude. Oh, let's just forget about it. Maybe first I'll tell you what I think about you. How I think that you are a selfish fucking bitch that is just too proud of her, too proud to actually fix things when she can. No, I'm not going. I'm not gonna go. I'm sorry. I'm not going. Yeah, I'm not going. <laughs> 